إني ألقى الإيناس في صومي وصلاتي ودعائي للرحمن وجميع الطاعات do you know what? Yeah. Let me tell you something. I do like the way you conduct yourself. Okay. A lot of the time. Yeah. I've learned from you, I have to say. You're going like, to have to move further. That camera can't cope with your height. No, no, no. I've learned from you. <laughs> genuinely. Do you know that? Yeah. I'll tell you what I've learned from, right? Okay. I've watched the one or two videos from you. Um, and you've got a beautiful concept that has emerged from your religion. Uh, and that you've absorbed yourself as a yeah. personality. I feel that if Muslims absorb it, yeah. and if Christians absorb it, and if atheists absorb it, the world will be a better place. Do you know what that is? No, I don't know. I'll tell you. Let me see what it is. Let me see what it is. mean of substance. I'll wait. Go on. What it is? No, genuinely yeah, speaking. Taste, no, seriously. Yeah. No, seriously. Um, you I, have don't, I don't need the pump, by the way. Just tell no, me. No, no, no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it is. It's this idea of taking the ego out of yourself, yeah? yeah. And you always remind yourself, yeah. like, it's not about me. You always say, it's a, you have to always demolish your ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think a message like that is a beautiful message, genuinely. So I, I think so. we so have a hadith. The truth appeals to everyone, you know? It's true, I agree. Do you know, I think that we have a hadith that says, if you humble yourself to God, right. Allah will raise you in ranks. Right. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Very similar. Our physical job. Anybody who calls themselves high will never be high. Yeah. Those that call themselves the lowest, they'll be the highest. It's interesting. And that's why the guru called himself is God's dog or something like that. Yeah, he said, yeah. He's going to get rid of the Yeah. So the, the, it's in the Guru Granth Sahib, but the Guru didn't say it. But yes. Yeah. But, but he uh, did say, actually, in Guru Granth said it in Shabbat Shabbat. That's right. Cool. Now, I wanted to actually ask you, look, I want to be, because because of your beautiful mannerism, and I know that we can have a decent conversation, yeah. I wanted to genuinely speak to you about something I believe in, yeah? Go ahead. I personally believe Islam is the truth, yeah? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And you believe Sikhism is the truth? 100%. And I remember watching a video of yours where you said that those Sikhs, and there are lots of Sikhs who do say this, that say that all of the religions are true, those Sikhs are not being representative of the true GGS, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And I really respect and admire your courage, yeah, and your straightforwardness yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in saying that because that makes this conversation a lot easier. Do you see sure, what I mean? Sure. The first thing I want to say to you is that when you look at the GGS, which I have done, I've looked at the GGS, okay. you do find a lot of beautiful philosophies, yeah? We shouldn't be completely dismissive of everything that we read. So that's my first message because we had an, a, a scholar called Imam Malik, he said something beautiful. He said, Kullu insan in minhu wa yuraddu alayhi. He said that every, illa, uh, sahab al -qabr. He said that every human being, yeah. You can take something from them yeah, yeah. and you can reject something from them yeah. except except for the Prophet Muhammad and he pointed at him because he is obviously revealed has divine inspiration. Which is, so what I was going to say to you we're in a hurry so if you can No 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 I'll, I'll get to your point. Now the thing is to my point sorry. What I was going to say to you is this yeah. Despite all of these great things about Sikhism I want to be very clear. Yeah. The reason why I don't buy into Sikhism or I don't believe in Sikhism. Fair enough. Go ahead tell me is the following, one main reason. If you analyze the Sikh scriptures, the GGS, yeah. Bani, and you look at the content of that scripture, you'll find that there is an immense similarity in the Sikh scripture with, first of all, the Quranic scripture, and secondly, the Hindu scripture. And it would seem very clearly mm -hmm. that it's an amalgamation of those two traditions. And if you look at Guru Nanak's actual life experience, mm -hmm. He clearly was influenced by people like Sheikh Farid, which was a Sufi mystic, and he was he actually his parents came from a from a Hindu background, and he was influenced by that. I don't tradition. want to interrupt you, but go on. But you make your point, and I'll come back. I'll just finish off the point. Now, the point is, if you said to me, like what we say to the Christians and Jews, that we believe that the Prophet Muhammad was a true prophet, but his book was corrupted somehow, then you would have had a uh, you know. A coherent case but if you're saying to me and I'm not saying this obviously in a rude way but if you're saying to me that it's just coincidental that it happens to be the case that all of what's in the Sikh scriptures is in fact what's in the Quran and the, and the Bhagavad Gita I will say that's an amazing contradiction which cannot be believed in by a rational human being that is to say that a person who's not a prophet has gotten so much of the truth true without being divinely inspired, then the guru comes afterwards and reaffirms this truth. Can you see why that would be? Who, who has and got the truth without being divinely inspired? I don't so let me tell you what I mean. If you look at the GGS, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but you have the process of Jude. Let me ask you a question before you go, go ahead, any yes, further, because it's been a while. 
firstly, this misconception that you have that Sikhi is an amalgamation of is Islam and Sikh uh, Sikhism. You're not the only person. Many people have had this misconception. Yeah, that, that's, so, that's proof. Fine. That, you know, uh, lots of people have. I'm yeah. trying to just explain to you. Let yeah. me speak. Yeah? The, the first, so many people have had that. Yeah. And we don't buy it for this reason. Go on. The Guru is getting it from God. The Guru is saying, yeah, well, I'm getting what, But the Guru is saying that he's getting it from God, right? But Not the me proof? saying, the Guru is saying. Okay, but okay, lots but of people have said that. Irrelevant to the proof, right? Let's just talk about the Guru is saying it's coming from God. So, therefore, the first point that anybody says that, well, actually it's an amalgamation, yeah. is effectively calling the Guru a liar. Okay. Right? So that's the end result, isn't it? But we're not being intellectually dishonest here. Not necessarily. Anybody who says the can Guru... I tell you, can I tell you something? It's not necessarily true what you said. You know, you know that. What you've created is in logic called a false dichotomy. Either we have to call the Guru a liar, a liar or that we say that he... Well, no, we can say that he was a, a social reformer who had an agenda to try and create he peace. Said, he said he got it from God. No, no, in but his maybe, own words. But maybe it was. Look, it doesn't... I repeat it. You said, Jesse me ave kasam ki bani. That's what I got He could have said it. But he, listen, he did say it. Uh, he's written down here. Yeah. No, yeah, it's fine. He could have said it. Yeah. But you know, I'm not saying necessarily that he must have been a liar. He might have been a social reformer with good intentions. And he must have thought, maybe there's a lesser of two evils here. The Let's lie. create a new... No, I mean, look. No, you're not addressing my point. My point number so, so one is... So, he could have been lying. Yeah. He, could have been, he could have been hallucinating. The point is... Okay, there's lots could, of, okay there's, fine. So, you could say he could be there's hallucinating. Lots of, there's lots of things but, it could okay, have fine. been. So, second, it's not a dichotomy. The second thing. point. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Second, but do you mind if I make a okay, point but no, you? No, because you can you make are, it first. You made a big question and, and I have an answer. And then I wanted to add a little bit more to it. The thing to remember is, on the one side, it could be to the point where either Guru's hallucinating or he's lying. Okay, hallucinating, lying. Yeah. But he can't be true in what he said, right? The second thing is... Yeah, that's my claim. Here's my view of why the Guru could be right. And there and the happens to be that the, it's very similar to what's in the Quran. And, Go ahead, yes, and the, the reason why it's similar, yeah. to, Quran, it's similar to the Quran or Bhagavad yeah. Gita or even yeah. Buddhist texts or yes. Um, yes. even what's the Russian talk or why? anybody else, yeah. it's because the truth is not exclusive to any one religion. Yeah. So therefore, okay. if somebody came today yes, yes. and gave us the ultimate truth about physics, yes, yes, yes. what you're going to find is yes, yes. that it's very similar to what Penrose said. Right. It could be similar to what somebody said a thousand years ago in Fantastic. China, Fantastic. but he doesn't have to have got it from those people. Thank you for he that could answer. just give the truth. Would you like me to just tell me, t I'll tell you my problem with that answer. Yeah? Go ahead. My personal problem with your answer is as follows. First of all, me and you have agreed on two things. Number one thing that we've agreed upon is that there is there are clear similarities between the GGS Bani and the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita. That's the first thing we did agree upon. And similarities would include things like Bard, which is something similar to Jannah. You know, you have June, yeah, 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 yeah. which is the process of reincarnation. Oh, Bahishti, you're talking about heaven. Oh, heaven is it Bard or Bahishti? There's no word for Bard. Bahishti. Is Bahishti. Sorry. But that's the Islamic that's, word. Okay. So here we have. Swarag is the normal Indian word. Okay. Sorry. Thank you for helping me no, out sorry, with that. No June. So this, June there's a whole bunch of language in Guru Granth Sahib. Sometimes cool. we use Islamic so, words, sometimes we use that's, I, I Indian words. That. So that's we, we know both That's what, what I'm trying to get to. June is the process of reincarnation, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God is Arjuni. Yeah, Arjuni, yeah. Yes? So he's outside of the process of reincarnation. Yeah. So this reincarnation, the question is, where did the Guru get the information for reincarnation? First question. Number two. From God. No, wait, hold on. Number two. It's, it can't be coincidental. Yeah. This is my point. You have to really think about what I'm saying here. Why can't it be coincidental? Okay, well, this is why it's not good. Let me tell you why it's probabilistically. Yeah. Prob from a, you know, if two people you know the probability truth. theory. If two people came up with the truth. Okay, can I tell you why? Yeah. It's just, let me tell you why. If you study probability theory, it's a branch of mathematics and actually of logic as well. I don't need to study probability theory. No, but I'm just telling you, please, can we, well, can, can we, can we create... Coming. But you've got to make if, your if, point. If, but I am making my point. Because you're in a hurry, hurry is you have to quickly go, go to the point. If I study this and then no, look, I'm just saying to you yeah. that if we're very clear about what we're saying, yeah? I'm saying that you don't believe that the Prophet Muhammad was divinely inspired, yeah? No, I didn't say that. Okay, so you, was, he, was he divinely inspired? What I'm saying is that he was sent with, the tr with some portion of the truth then he got diverted from his aim. What, was he divided? What, God, did God send the words to him or not? Well, I would say that initially, probably, uh, he okay. was sent with a certain amount of... So the Quran of, is uh, God's uh, words? So, well, the Guru Gobi Sindhi mentions that uh, Prophet Muhammad was given the rule of Arabia, yeah. but then he went off into his own ego. And okay. it happens to a lot of people Fine. that they get so, raised up and then they go off. So do you believe yeah. that God sent Muhammad with the Quran or not? Uh, I wouldn't say that we believe the whole Quran is the truth, no. Okay, so... so I'm just trying to be more so, diplomatic, yeah, yeah, I don't want to offend anybody. No, no, you don't know just understand. No, no, it's not about offending, no, I don't. Because, look, I, what I don't want, I want honesty is more important to I'm us... I'm being very honest with you, I just yeah. said the no, word. No, no, no. Honesty is more important to us yeah. than sugarcoating, yeah, giving so us a warm light. We don't believe the truth... Uh, I'm sorry, not Quran to put ...is the truth of God, is the it's word the truth of God. Of God. Fine. But, in that case, we do believe there's truth in the Quran, okay, which no, is very hard for some people to understand. Okay, so, 
if, if the Prophet Muhammad was not divinely inspired. No, I never said that. No, but that's what you said. Okay, so he, you said he was, but, he's but he moved. He moved. I'm just trying to be clear. Okay, so about what I'm saying. I don't so want to use words. Let me change it. Let me change it up. If the Quran is not God's word, yeah, not 100 percent the truth. Yes. Okay. If the Quran, because God's word's got to be true, right? Fine. If it's not 100 percent the truth, then it's not God's word. So if the Quran is not God's word, 100 percent no. Yeah, 100 percent. Some of it probably. Some of it is, but if it's not God's word, yeah. And the Prophet Muhammad, therefore, he went into his own, as your words, his own ego. Yeah. Must have meant that he. He made his own words up. It wasn't God's yeah. word, right? So if that is the case, well, he, there was a point where he got uh, Satan inspired him, right? At one point, is that no, right? no, we don't believe that. The satanic verses. Where does it say that? In, well, give, I'm give just asking you. No, there's nothing. Is it, isn't there's that? Nothing isn't that? Taken out. Yeah, but there, didn't he say himself that? It's in the hadith. Didn't he say himself that? Oh, that was actually from the Satan. It took yeah. got taken out. Where, where, give, give me the hadith then. Uh, well, I don't, I don't which, know exactly. No, right now. Okay, well then. I don't claim to be an expert in Islam. No, no, fine. Then you shouldn't make an assertion without bringing evidence. It was a question. Like before, in the beginning. In the beginning, it was a question. No, okay, there is nothing. Never happened. No, it didn't happen. So There's he never, he never, he never had a situation no, where. Oh, right. well, I'm saying to you, get the authentic, get the authentic proof for that. And I'll have to check. I'll have to look at it. Yeah. That's something you'd look into from a book like Salman Rushdie's book, The Satanic yeah. Verses. Yeah. No, but I don't think I'm ready. Yeah, no, I'm just, just saying that this well, is the kind of. I'll find it. Yeah, yeah fine. You can try and find it. But look, you have a major point. Why you said the, why you don't agree with it? No, no, you said why you don't agree with it. About my point about the fact that truth could be everywhere. So you said you've got you've got a solid argument against it, but you haven't given. No, no, no. I think I have given. I think people around you. If he heard it, then he would know. No, it, no. Right? But let me tell so you look, if, if it's true, did the full truth, point. did the full truth yeah. come completely at the time of the guru, and before him there was no full truth? Well, I think the people before him had. Uh, the truth, but they didn't Not give the it. Truth. They didn't give it. No, they, were, they weren't there. No, no, they no, didn't no. have the full truth. Did yeah. the full, Agreed. Like, yeah, they didn't have the full okay, truth. Yeah. You agree with me? Yeah. yeah? yeah. So please, let's be honest and let's be straightforward. Um, if that's the case, yeah. so you're telling me that 400 and whatever it is years ago, yeah. when Guru Nanak came onto the scene, yeah. and when he disseminated his message, which was the GGS, yeah, yeah. that was the point at which the full truth was delivered. Yeah. Our point is that well, that I made that point many times. So yeah. My point to you is that that is an incoherent understanding of human civilization. You're saying that, why? Because what we're saying is if God created human beings, yeah. and he created the universe, yeah. our narrative is as follows, that he, as soon as human being was on the earth, yeah. the full truth was delivered to that human being. Your narrative is well, no. Uh, the, the baby was born. No, the first human which baby we believe, had the full truth. We believe that Adam, the first human being, yeah. Yeah, well, we don't believe in Adam. But it doesn't matter. What, but we, we, that's our narrative. Yeah. Our narrative is that the first human being. Adam had the full truth. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he was a prophet. Right. He had the full truth. Yeah, yeah. He disseminated that full truth to his constituency, and then that continued. Who on. are they? His, his kids. So his, his, his family members. That's correct. His kids. Yeah. And then the prophets came. Everybody afterwards. came from them. Pardon? Everybody came from his kids. From, from yeah, absolutely. That's correct. That's what we believe. That's in, what it? you believe in. Right? That's correct. That's what we believe in. It's just hard to believe in it. And, and that. It's hard for me to. It's hard for that. me to believe in reincarnation. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. I will die and become an ant. But, but the no, point is, what well, is physics? Okay, so let's it's talk about like, well, reincarnation. It's just physics for us. It's just physics. Like, I didn't say. But in the beginning of this I'm conversation, no, 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 let me just make a point. You have a major point about why you don't. You said that the truth was at the beginning. The beginning of this conversation. No, no, it's interesting because it's on camera. So then, what was the need for the Quran? It's on camera. What was the need for the Quran? Let me say something, please. Do you mind? No, but it's a simple question. You said the truth was at the very yeah. beginning, yes, yes, which is why you can't accept okay, that the Allah. truth came later. But the question here is, yeah. how come yeah, yeah. when Adam came, he didn't come with the Quran then? Okay, that's, the the Quran? okay can I tell you the answer to that question? Yeah, just answer. Yeah, that's a good question actually. The answer to that question is as follows. We believe that each prophet was sent to their people and their time. Yeah? With the full truth. With the full truth. Okay. With the absolute truth. They should have given the Quran to everybody. Then. It was the equivalent. Look, I mean, what we had at that time for Adam or for, let's say, Prophet Moses or Prophet Jesus or Prophet Noah, yeah. he delivered exactly the same message as would be found in the Quran. The difference is this. We believe that the, the scriptures were corrupted because they were not they were not meant for the whole of humanity, right? And that's well, but it's a full truth. Which is apparent. 100% the truth should be available to all humanity. Exactly. Yeah, that's so Quran. Then, exactly, absolutely. Well, why wouldn't it come in the beginning? It did come in the well, beginning. You said it was coming in the beginning, but, but it wasn't. It, it came to those people at that time. God never said in the old scriptures Indeed. that this scripture that I'm sending, I'll preserve it. So, Quran is but exactly. how come the Bible then seems the to go Quran. against the Quran? So because of, because of the, 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 the corruption. It's not preserved. Yeah, but, yeah, but remember one I thing. I think yeah? you know now. But no, but there's still 
one problem with your argument. Go that ahead. A lot of the stuff in the Quran yeah. goes against Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Yeah, so okay, for us, then, it's wrong. Then what, then what do we do? Okay, okay, is we go okay, to the reincarnation is in there. So obviously, it's not what's wrong. Go to the scriptures. Listen, listen. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But your whole can't be the hundred percent. Your whole paradigm is as follows. You're standing in a box called Sikhism. Sikhi, yeah. Inside, inside it. You're immersed with the idea that Sikhism is true. Hundred percent. That's why in the beginning of this. Can I please? I know I am, but let me tell you the difference between me and you. In the beginning of this conversation, you said there's no need for evidences. The guru said it. No, no, I never said that. You said something to that effect. No, I didn't say those words. So you said something to that effect. So in other words, we don't forget about the proof now. I said, said. no, I'm not trying to prove God to you is what I said. Okay, fine. I'm not, I believe in God. I'm saying that. Can I, can I, can I say, I think the main thing is this, yeah, is that if we look into it, I'm really sorry. The thing is, because we're going back and forth, the main thing we do is very simple. We talk with the Christians as well. We go to the scriptures, we go to the Quran, we go to your religious scriptures. Okay, go ahead. If the scriptures, if we can prove that the Quran is from Allah, the matter of Tawheed, what you say, oh, is this right or wrong? We take it all. Like, for example, if I prove to you the Quran, from Allah. You, ha- you can't pick and choose what you like. Whatever I showed you, and I say, for example, Tawheed is worshipping Allah in His powers and everything that He does. Singling out Allah in worship, His names and attributes. When we go to the scriptures, and if I prove to you my scripture is correct, you can't say pick and choose. And Ali, same with Ali, you, same Ali, with you, yeah? because I know your name. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You can't. I don't know your name. What's your name? Uh, Jagraj. J- How do you say J- your name? Jagraj. Like Jag- a jug and then J- the Raj. Jagraj. Jagraj. I like it. Jagraj. I like it. Jagraj. All right, so look. It's funny, man. I don't, I don't know. What's I, your I, name? I, I, Muhammad. Oh, nice to meet you, Muhammad. You too, Jag- Jagraj, yeah? Yeah, Jagraj. Like, yeah, Jagraj. Jagraj. Yeah, Jagraj. Okay, look. The Jagraj. thing is, yeah, is. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, man. Don't be sad. I'm sorry. Now I'm not being funny. It's just because you're big. But let me just explain something to you, right? What comes out from talking to you is that you were talking about how come it came later and not at the beginning but in a way many Muslims are kind of making a very similar argument that and, and it may be that you say oh no no that's not true but it's another way but it's a very similar argument that the truth came with the Prophet Muhammad because everybody else was corrupted no 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 but here it's listen it's very similar to my argument no it's not because you said all the other scriptures got corrupted but they had the truth can I tell you we hold on because at the beginning of Guru Granth Sahib because you seem to have read Ajuni right that's at the beginning yeah you might have heard the other word, Ah, the such a juga, the such a happy, such an honor, course, CP, such. Such means truth, which is at the beginning. Such. At the and beginning God of is, time. God is such. God is such. Yeah. And then Sikhi is such. And that's from the Quran, by the way. Sikhi is such okay, as well, at the beginning of time. And then at the at time, when time started, then Sikhi was also true. And then now it's true, and forever it will be true. Okay, so a Sikh believes. No, no. A what Sikh believes that I, the Sikh view Jagra. was true from the can, beginning. Can, can, can Only that? thing is, some people did have access to that truth. Yeah. Uh, for example, I'll give you an example of a guy that found the truth. Yeah. His name was Mansur. Mansur was a Sufi. Yeah? Unfortunately for Mansur, he stood up one day, opened up his jacket and he goes, An al-Haq. And he blew himself up. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, he opened his jacket and he goes, I am one with the truth. I am the truth. Yeah. He didn't get blown up. He got killed in a very terrible way by the okay. Islamic uh, terrorists at that time. They killed him. Okay. They chopped him into pieces yeah. for saying that he is the truth. And you're saying I'm one with God okay, now. But are you, are you so this way has been around in every yeah. way. Okay. So it's not that we're saying that we're the only ones that found it. Fine. We just say that the Guru Ali, Ali gave it in a perfect way. Are you, are you saying why did the, the truth, if it was there from the beginning, yeah. why did it come like uh, 1600 years ago? As the Quran, is that what you're saying? Because I said that earlier, you said okay, you okay. said scriptures got corrupted. Okay, can I tell you I why? said prophets got corrupted. Okay, let me tell you why. We, we, okay, the, the truth that we believe in Islam. Yeah, yeah, Islam has been there from day one. Not that's we, what you believe in. Not, not what, what we believe. Don't agree with no, 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 no. Okay, you don't believe. I'm telling you why. Yeah, yeah, I never tell you to believe that. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm trying to say is Islam has been there from day one. That's why when we say Jesus was a Muslim, the Christians get confused. They're like, what do you mean he was a Muslim? I'm like, you're not understanding yeah, what understand I mean. What yeah, yeah. The one who submits his will to God is a Muslim because Jesus says, I do not say. Concept. He says, I don't say nothing for myself. Because Jesus says in the scripture, I don't, I don't, from God, yeah, I, I don't say nothing for no, myself. I As I hear, I okay, guys, please, if I can make my point, oh, yeah? So Jesus was a Muslim. So what we say is, God Almighty existed. He sent down prophets, yes? Yeah. yes. And with some of the prophets and messengers, he gave them scriptures. Right. Those scriptures were not were meant for those people at that time. time. All right. So what happened is, once a scripture came, it would prophesy, that's not nice, the camera's recording, have some decency, learn from the brother, some manners, yeah? I'm watching it carefully. Anyway, sorry. So what I'm trying to... I'm so sorry, forgive me. Yeah? So the prophet comes, the messenger comes with the scripture. Yeah, yeah. In the one that was a perfect message for everybody at all time came For those specific Muhammad. times, because if God Almighty finished uh, in his plan, there was other prophets that were going to yeah, come. Yeah, fair other enough. messengers were going to come. So yeah. for example, with the Old Testament, the Old Testament was given yeah. to uh, uh, Moses with the Ten Commandments, etc. Right, right, and it was prophesied right. of another prophet that will come. Not okay. only Jesus, but Muhammad as well. Right. So what happened? I'm so sorry, I'm just trying to finish I, I know all your... Yeah. I've watched okay, okay, your okay, videos, okay, okay, but that's why I Okay, you know, yeah? I know where you're going. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah. Forgive me, but allow me to say okay, it. No, enough, maybe enough. you've seen it, but other people haven't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So 
when uh, those scriptures came down, it wasn't meant to be preserved. Okay. It talked about another prophet that will come. Jesus came, the ones who follow the scriptures correctly said, this is the one that was prophesied. We follow him. Then, then you had people who followed Jesus. And yeah. Jesus says, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Okay. So he went to speak for la. Okay, then it talked about the prophet Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. The Quran is the only scripture where God Almighty said the final messengers come, we have the Old Testament, the yeah. New Testament, and the Final Testament. Okay. So the Quran is the seal that says everything that... Obviously, Ali, you know that I don't agree with you. No, I know. So that's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying because you're arguing back and forth. Let's go to your scriptures and my scriptures. If my if your scripture is true, I'm ready to accept and follow you. No problem. I am ready to do it right now. If my scriptures is true and I have evidence based on that, you can't pick and choose. You have to follow. No, 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 no. no Ali, look, here's the thing. Yeah? And you know what? There's a beautiful thing I read in the GGS. Yeah. Can I tell? And you tell me the tell me the the the, 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 the actual in the native tongue how you'd actually say it. Yeah. He said that the truth is more uh, guru. The truth is more beloved to me than religion or yes. something to that extent. No, that was a made up quote. Somebody oh, really? is put so that good. in there. Yeah. No, I think someone, uh, so, so, uh, a lot of people make up quotes and they stick it's a nice meme, you know, stick oh, right. it up online. It's, 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 good, it's, good, it's not the real one. So, it's not real one. Mara, what, 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 there is a quote <laughs> there is a quote in Guru Granth Sahib that says that the, the highest thing of all is truth. Yeah. But higher than truth is truth for living, living by the truth. Yeah, yeah. That's higher than just believing the truth. Okay, but okay. okay. So hey, hey, Ali, Ali, the, Ali the, the reason why this argument, again, like what you said earlier, is gonna go nowhere, is that even if I, sh you can see Guru Granth Sahib Ji online. I don't have to show it to you. Show you can read it yourself. Guru Granth Sahib Ji is already online. Okay, okay. Our, our Guru is already available online. You can read the scripture. Yeah. yeah. And if it appeals to you, great. If it doesn't appeal to you, I'm not here to stuff it down your throat. And you know, can I say, Allah says in the Quran there is no compulsion of religion, but I have to convey the message to you. True, yeah. So on the day of judgment, but you don't say, Ali, you came by the car, you talk Ali, about it. I've read, I've read the Quran, yeah. Yeah, and I've also heard a lot of speeches by Muslim scholars. Yes. And the thing is, is for me, yeah. it doesn't fulfill the requirements of truth. But who gives you it's, the criteria? Uh, the truth. My guru gives me the criteria. The guru, yeah. Okay, but how do you know the guru? Okay, is so that's, the like, no, that's a circular but, argument. But, yeah, but that was what I was talking yeah. to okay. uh, all that but, time but, but, with uh, our, our but, man uh, but, but, Hamza. Okay. Is that the, uh, okay. the reason I believe in yeah. that truth is because yeah. of all the things that I've experienced and still yet to experience from the guru. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is, look, I believe. Let me tell you why I chose Islam. Yeah, I'm a revert Islam. It's been three and a half, four years. Why I chose Islam is because I believe if there is a creator, if the creator has sent down a scripture, this scripture should not be altered with. It should not be changed. Guru Granth Sahib did not be changed. Okay, okay, okay. So th this is good. So I believe the same with the Quran. So we need to put our scriptures to the test. Yeah? When the Quran has been ordered and changed. No, no, okay. Then, okay. If you believe Allah says in the Quran, if this book was not other than from your Lord, you will find many discrepancies and contradictions in it. I challenge you to find me a single contradiction, a single error okay. in the Quran that right. has been changed. It's a nice challenge. The Quran, a, but I, here, here, let me just. Let me, let me finish the point. Okay. Come on, come on, I'm going to listen to you as well, yeah? Because let's, let's listen to the brothers as well, yeah? Okay. The second point is Allah says in the Quran in, um, that He challenges the disbelievers and says, yeah. bring a chapter like it. Like, if you think this one from right. God Almighty, good. Okay. It's like me coming and saying, I'm, I will knock out right. anyone here. So, and if I go, if you say to me, Ali, that guy, boom, I knock him out. Okay, gonna say that, so, so, then bring it, bring it, bring, just, bring right, it, and we'll talk, it. talk about right. it. Okay. And not only that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it has historical okay, miracles. The thing is, yeah, Ali, is that there's are people out there that have actually come up with a, there's actually a no, website no, no. called, show me, come on. there's a website, in it about that? There's a website dedicated to, from show me a chap, show me yeah. a, a verse like it, I yeah. think, .com. Okay, yeah, and it's yeah, actually yeah. a whole website dedicated to showing verses like the Quran. But the thing is, is who is going to be the guy that decides that, oh no, this verse has been the no, no, no. and therefore Jagraj. Is what? Jagraj. Can I just there's criteria to it be the guy? No, no. there's criteria to it but you, you, you didn't let me gonna believe in but you didn't let me finish yeah. non -Muslim you, you really know, know. okay if we found let, you a verse you, like that would you leave Islam yes I'm gonna, telling you, look, Islam, what's it, Allah, it, what's it, because, because, because Allah says, look in the Quran, speak, look, speak the truth even if it's against yourself. If you bring me evidence, yeah, yeah. if I'm truthful and I'm looking for the truth, I'm on camera, I will leave Islam. Okay. This is how certain I am. Right. So I'm saying bring it, okay, Ali, you I'm ready what, to join what you. What would happen one day, I ask you, one day, yeah. we're, we're still living in uh, uh, Pakistan, yeah. the whole village is Muslim, yeah. and everybody in the, Mus in the village yeah. at night yeah. has a realization of who they were in their past life. Just have a theory. Yeah? It's a theoretical argument. Okay, right. Where everybody suddenly realized who they were in their past life. Okay. Right? And they all remember. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let's just imagine they had happened, right? Yeah. So at that moment, yeah. effectively, they'd have yeah. to leave Islam. 
according to what the so let's say they now believe that was true. That's right? the circular no, argument. Yes, but let's it? say they decided but, yeah, oh, it's true. Jack they don't Raj, believe Jack Islam, Raj, right? Right? Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is that you see many people in this world have actually experienced their past life, right? Okay, Jack Raj. How do you know it was in a dream? They have. How do you know it was in a dream that he poisoned his Please, Jack Raj. Jack Raj. The thing is, you know, there's also confirmation bias. Very don't grammar. The confirmation bias exists as well. Yeah, that somebody who's not going to believe something doesn't matter what happens to him, he's never going to believe it. No, no, but reincarnation. A lot of people you're missing, you're missing believe in reincarnation. No, so but we're not talking about we're talking about your scripture, so, and my scripture. So Why would you believe? believe? No, no, no. There's a lot of evidence for no, it. No, no, so. we're going to. But your you're probably never going to read it, and then no, say, you're going to say, "Oh, we dismiss it." You're always going to dismiss it. Can I tell you the difference between our argument and your argument? Just in one sentence, yeah. Go on then. One sentence. The main difference is that we aim to offer proofs and evidences, whereas you're saying just believe, and that's that. No, 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 no. I never said that. What are your proofs? And what are your evidences? Watching right now, can agree that I never. I never said okay. just believe. What's your proof no. I've always said, said it's experience. No, I said it's said, experience yeah, but is what drives the beliefs. It's, not, it's yeah. not subjective. Not I said to you earlier the whole argument one, with one question. Hamza that it's subjective only when you're individual. Of course but when you can take it generalized, then it becomes are subjective. subjective. Okay, okay. A color, color, is, color is subjective. What, what's, yeah. what's your evidence that your scriptures are true? I've given you my criteria historical miracles, linguistic miracles, the challenge in the Quran for you, find a mistake in it. didn't convince me, Ali. Of course he wouldn't. But it I'm didn't saying convince might convince me. The, so it's not a proof. It might convince the one that's watching it. Well, it, because, may, it might, but it come, might not. Well, see, I might come, I come and speak to Christians argument. here. They never get convinced for three and a half years. Yeah. My point is, for the So therefore, is it a good argument? So I'm telling you, what is the well, criteria here's the question. for If you spent three and a half years what, making arguments. What's your point? Not everybody bought it. That's why I'm going to say that. Could you be wrong? Let him speak, then speak. Could you be wrong? Could I be wrong? Could the, could no, I, I don't believe. Could it didn't work. No, 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 no. no. Words, I'm asking you, what is your evidence to your scripture being from God? I've given you my foundation. I'm seeing challenge the historical miracle, the linguistic okay. miracle, the All challenge right. that the Quran has okay. been changed, and that uh, bring a chapter right. like it. Okay, fine. I'll give you my argument. Whether yeah. you like it or not, this is my, of course, my I challenge it. to you. I respect it. Right? There's no compulsion. No, it's not even a challenge. But let me yeah. ask you. Can we make if, a circle big? I'm pretty, like, if I met someone please, please. who was really so fit at running, yeah? But there was a hundred coaches, right, have trained these hundred people for five years, yeah? Okay. Then one guy comes along yeah. and trains one guy, right, for one more year. Okay. And that guy becomes faster than everybody else in that whole group. Okay. So the group turns to that one guy and says, how do you become so fast? He goes, because of that guy, the trainer. Yeah. Okay. Right. So then what is what will make those people, the 100 people, being logical, wanting to win, yeah. see that guy got ahead. Yeah. They might say, you know what, I want to go and try what that guy is training. Okay. Let me try it. Okay. Let me try the training. Yes. They become faster. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now, they all believe in this guy now. Believe, yours, in, believe, believe in him, in him for, 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 they for the fact that they, they, they made him faster and they yes. got the better training. Yes. So now, so they have reason to believe now him. they have a reason. Okay. Which is what I've been saying to you from the very beginning. Okay. The reason for us believing in our Guru yeah. is because not does he only give the most sublime truths with the best... That's subjective. But That's subjective. when he tells us to follow it and it works, we experience God in the way that he's describing okay. and it's so mind-blowing. Okay. You know, it's, subjective. Okay. Subjective. Can I say, no, it's, it's only subjective. Okay. So you have no criteria for truth. Can I comment? Please, one second. Oh, I've got to go. Yeah. Listen, can I listen, it's, it's 30 okay, seconds okay, left. Okay, okay, okay. Go. So I'll leave yeah. it to you. You say what you like. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything back. 30 yeah. seconds. Sorry, what was your last sentence? Sorry. It says that uh, yeah. that's the that's okay, experience. Okay. So you're telling me from Guru. Did you ever hear me like, for example, that I gave you the Quran, the scripture. I can yeah. come to the Prophet and his life. That's another evidence. I came to you from the scripture. The Guru not, is a scripture. Not one second. Okay. No, 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 are you telling me? No, okay. If he's the scripture, okay. For yeah, example, I, 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 you need to bring me evidence because you're telling me because he, if I'm not mistaken, he came and he made more and uh, the truth seems more with him. Yeah. That's why I'm telling you. Look, the Christians come and say to me, you know, there's a Christian who came to me and he goes, Jesus paid for my ticket to go holiday. I'm looking at him and I'm like, are you okay? He, he truly believes in it, but it's subjective. It's not wrong either. It's subjective. If I said to you, I accepted it's Islam. Subjective. If I said I accepted Islam because it changed my life, it's subjective. I'm yeah. going to the scripture. Because you will come and say to me, look, Guru changed my life. I'll say the prophet changed my life. Yeah, the that's right, that's the Christian right. will say Jesus changed my life. People watching will agree that I've okay. actually made this point a few okay, okay. times. Now. No, but okay, okay, okay. Are you, are you have to go. No, the brother no. has to go. We don't want to hold him. Are you I'm here next week? You. Are you here next week, brother? Probably. Okay, when are you going to be here? I, I really come. It's the fourth time I've come. Okay, okay, my last one. Okay, okay, okay. My, my I have to be honest. Only okay, once okay. every three no, no, months. No, no, it was a pleasure. Once every three no, months. No, it was a pleasure. Like the brother said, your manners, like we really yeah. admire because that of is it. nice talking but, to you but, guys. But, well. but the challenge, like I said, there, those I, I want someone to meet that, and I'm ready to join you. And I want a bit of advice. You know, yeah. a bit too tactile. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thanks for coming. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Th